We're at such a crucial time in history where we have for the first time the choice to make whether humanity will continue or not. I think that we are so disconnected from almost everything that sustains us that we don't know how to take care of those things that sustain us. People have a hard time identifying with their role in nature. Humans have brought the world to the brink of destruction. And it's really important for us to understand that we are a part of that, each of us, every day. So of course, the environmental situation is dire. But also when I look around, it seems like most of our people and culture is really grieving and unhappy. And I believe that most of that is because of a sense of so much disconnection, so much lack of connection to our environment, to nature, to the things that sustain us, to the things that keep us alive and fed. And it is crucial for us to make changes now that change that narrative. If we don't make some more dramatic changes soon, none of us really know what will happen. But do we want things to stay the way that they are? Probably not. What we do know is that we don't have that even as an option. We don't have an option of things continuing to stay as they are. The permaculture movement is one expression of people saying we've got to make changes. The solution is gonna look like more people doing more for themselves. It's gonna look like more people growing their own food, more people legally being able to build their own shelter. Permaculture is a system that is based on ethics and principles that can be applied in any context around the globe. And it is a design methodology that walks you through the process of designing in harmonics with the natural landscape with the existing patterns of the community that you live in. The permaculture process has four basic steps to it, which is assessment, visioning, design, and implementation. And that can be adopted at both a landscape level where you're building a garden or within a social context for a community. Quail Springs permaculture is a community that is made up of teachers who are trying to demonstrate how regenerative living can happen in even the most degraded places. Finding ways, simple ways, to bring permaculture into your life can start with a compost pile, perhaps chickens in the backyard, a worm bin, and then looking around, particularly in your pantry, at where food comes from. We're taught to think in such a limited capacity of what our options even are. We're given one idea of what a house is, one idea of where to get our food and groceries. And part of my hope for this course is that you get a broader idea of what some of these possibilities and options even are. This course and the permaculture ethics, principles, and methodologies are right at the core of tooling you up giving you the understandings how to design the next best steps for you to change that narrative. Permaculture for, for everybody. It's for people who are wanting to garden on their balcony. It's for people wanting to put a garden in their backyard. It's for farmers who want to better their systems in a way that helps them to be more efficient and to be more in harmony with the landscape around them. Am I taking care of the earth? Am I taking care of people? Am I redistributing surplus? If we can identify and look inside of ourselves and actually realize that we might not want to be continuing to live our lives in the ways that we are right now, that to me is the first step. From that place, we can then make choices different. It's something that is both practical, but also it's something that speaks to, I know my heart, that we have a future for these children and we no longer steal from their future 
but we actually contribute to it. Legend has it, we could be legends Etched in the stone, forever on thrones Histories made in the moments Heroes collide, it's all on the line With our backs against 